May our bodies and minds be healthy. May our thoughts be filled with love. May we practice free of obstacles. May we carry its benefits into the world. My name is Megan Hamilton and I'm from Berkeley, California and I am a Life Skills Education Program Coordinator at Oasis for Girls. When I was a youth, I did a lot of high-risk behavior and experimented with a lot of things and um, didn't have any guidance, really. I went to a Catholic school, they didn't really talk about safer sex, they didn't really talk about domestic violence, they didn't talk about any of these things. I also was bullied a lot in middle school and um, I think that helped me identify in, as an other, like as something different than the mainstream. So I was teased for being nerdy, I was teased for being overweight, I was teased for being quirky. Um, and so by the time I got to high school, I was like, I'm not a cheerleader, you know? I'm not like part of the mainstream crowd. Um, and I also identify as queer, so there's a lot of different pieces that made my identity not match with the majority of the culture. Um, so I think that was the fundamental shift in the beginning. So I think that a lot of those things sort of pushed me in the direction of wanting to help people make healthier decisions. My mother moved away when I was like nine or 10 years old. So I didn't have a mother for adolescence and my dad did the best he could, but wasn't as involved. My best friend's mother, she stepped in when my mom stepped out and she's my other mother. Um, she'd give Abby, my best friend, she'd give her like half a bagel in her lunch to give to me to make sure that I had something to eat at lunch. She would pick me up after school and make sure I was doing my homework. She would guided me through all of my nonsense relationships in high school. So I did get a little bit of um, maternal influence from her and I think that probably really, really helped <laughs> me become a functioning adult. When I got to college, I started learning about all of these systems and structures and women's experiences and um, experiences of all kinds of different groups and I realized that that was my experience and nobody had told me about it, it was kind of late. <laughs> I got an internship at a place called the Young Women's Project working with teenage girls and I was like this is what I want to do. Um, so from that point on which was maybe eight nine years ago I have been working with teenagers. I worked at the Young Women's Project in Washington DC doing peer-led sex ed in DC public schools because they don't have sexual health education and then from there I worked at Men Can Stop Rape so I only worked with boys 14 to 17 in DC public schools working on how to be allies with women to prevent violence against women and just prevent violence period. And then I moved back to California and now I work at Oasis for Girls. I'm going to show you around Oasis for a little bit. Um, so we're going to head back to the Oasis Lounge. Well, Oasis for Girls has three programs, and so I do life skills, then there's arts and college and career. A typical youth that I work with, parents leaving, abuse in the home, drug abuse by parents, um, all of that. So life skills is about um, identities, learning about your identities and then learning to accept and um, be curious about other people's identities, um, culture, systems of oppression, community organizing, social justice, um, those kinds of skills. I also think sisterhood is really powerful across all of the programs. So the idea is that sisterhood um, can get you through anything. So girls, best friendships um, come before anything else. And if you do that, then you'll be pretty solid. And I followed my passion and it's been the best decision of my life. Anybody who wants to do youth work or social work or psychology or anything, I think you have to be very flexible and open. My advice would be like, find your passion and go hard.